Have you ever questioned the motivations behind thrill seekers and daredevils who engage in terrifying activities? Adrenaline junkies are a special species who will do anything for their fix, whether it be shark diving, climbing Mount Everest, or tightrope walking over the Grand Canyon. Many people are unaware that those who seek such sensations could be suffering from an addiction to adrenaline. What is this illness, how does it progress, and who is in danger? Let's first examine what adrenaline is and why it might lead to an addiction in the first place. The human body is a complex, highly organized piece of machinery that relies on many different systems to sustain life, one of which is hormones. Adrenaline is a hormone secreted by the adrenal glands directly into the bloodstream. Also called epinephrine, it is a chemical messenger that transmits signals to different organs. In times of emergency, it is released into the bloodstream within two to three minutes of a tense condition or hazardous circumstance and primes the body for a fight or flight reaction. Adrenaline enters the bloodstream and causes a number of reactions, including rapid or fast breathing, increased blood pressure, tense muscles, rapid heart rate, also there is perspiration and the pupils get dilated. These feelings and manifestations are commonly referred to as adrenaline rush. It is a typical bodily reaction and a crucial survival strategy that primes the body both mentally and physically to face the threat. Therefore, adrenaline is essential to the body's capacity to handle stress and danger. Adrenaline production stops once the acute stressful circumstance is gone and the threat has subsided. If this is a typical reaction, how is it possible to become addicted to adrenaline? First, let's take a look at what happens when we face danger. Think about a vicious dog chasing you. Your breathing will quicken, you'll start to perspire, and you'll find yourself fleeing at a speed you never imagined possible. All this is made possible by the adrenaline rush and the body's fight or flight response kicking in. In this case, it's a flight response. Before a person is even aware of what is happening inside their body, a series of events happen very quickly in stressful or dangerous situations. The amygdala, a region of the brain, receives the information about the potential threat. This structure, which is buried deep within the brain, is crucial for processing the emotions. The amygdala conveys the information to another part of the brain called the hypothalamus. This small area located at the base of the brain is critical for many body functions, including the release of hormones. The adrenal glands, which are situated on top of each kidney, receive signals from the hypothalamus. The hormone adrenaline is released into the bloodstream as a result of the gland's reaction. The hormone causes the symptoms of an adrenaline surge by moving via the bloodstream to numerous organ systems in the body. The adrenaline rush is a normal response to danger and is a critical component of a human being's survival instinct. If adrenaline is an essential hormone with important functions in the body, then how does a person develop an adrenaline addiction? It is vital for some adrenaline to be released during a crisis since it sharpens the senses and primes the body to handle danger. However, some people become addicted to the rush that the hormone causes. Similar to how an addict seeks out the high from a substance, they start to seek out this sensation. Addiction to adrenaline can cause compulsive engagement in risky activities without consideration of the effects on one's physical, emotional, legal, or financial well-being. Addiction to adrenaline can appear in many different ways. Extreme sports like ice climbing and motorbike racing are popular among those who are addicted to adrenaline. Others engage in exhilarating pursuits like downhill skiing or skydiving. Others still choose hazardous professions like covering conflict zones, performing emergency rescues, or fighting fires. A study on rock climbers found that the athletes experienced withdrawal symptoms when they were not participating in the sport. The withdrawal symptoms, which included cravings, decreased interest in other activities, and restlessness and frustration, were comparable to the symptoms experienced by people with other types of behavioral and substance addictions. Adrenaline addicts, thrill seekers, and daredevils are terms used to describe people who regularly and deliberately seek out such situations.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and support us to learn more.